You kidding me? Hey babes, today I'm going to be showing you a lip swatch video. I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video on the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquers. I have got 24 to show you. I think they've got a few more shades now. Um, but I've got 24. I've got most of them. I think they've got like two or four more shades that I don't have. But basically, MUA is a budget brand here in the UK. And I do know that they are you know, available in Europe and also in America. Story about these, these are the Amue Luxe Velvet Lip Lacquers and they are three pounds, they are liquid lipsticks, turns matte on your lips. <laughs> three pounds, seriously? That is pretty sick. Also, thank you so much to Amue for sending me some of the shades in the past and um, I'm just gonna be showing you the swatches and give you a roundup later on. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to put on is Gravity. This is a very neutral nude. What I mean by that is that it's not got too many pink or peachy tones within it. It's very neutral in that sense, and it applies nicely. It's very smooth. As you can see, it dries really nice and matte. The next shade that I'm going to put on is Harmony. This is a more milky nude, and it's got a warmth to it, but it hasn't got, you know, pinky tones as well. I really like the direction that MUA has gone with the nudes in the collection, actually. Just because I think they're a little bit different. This one is called Poise. This is a brownier tone of Harmony, I would say. I really, really like this shade. This shade is so nice and it's so smooth, it's not patchy whatsoever. The next shade is called Unity. This is a lavender shade. This is super pale. It does need probably a little bit of finessing to create that like even, layered, nice, even look. But this is the palest lavender that I own. This is called Sugar Coated. This is a super pale pink. And definitely with this one, it is a little bit patchier, but it does have pigment in it. It just needs a little bit of finessing in that way. And as you can see, um, it matches my top. You know, very millennial pink. It probably needs a lip liner for my skin tone. This is actually the color enhancer and it's a base color. You can put it before or after your liquid lipstick. It makes a liquid lipstick look vibrant if you apply it before, like a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, or you can use it to lighten any liquid lipstick. So it's good for that, but as you can see, it is a little bit patchy. It is, yeah, it's sheer compared to the others. These are the swatches on my hand for those. Da -da -da. And then moving on, the next shade is called Tranquility. This does have more warmth to it. So this is a peachy toned pink but not overwhelming whatsoever. It's such a nice nude to wear. Now we're gonna go into the more, even peachier family. This is called Halcyon. The thing is with the Amuo Velvet Lip Lacquers is that it's kind of like a frosted glass effect. So one shade can look lighter on the packaging rather than when it actually is on your lips. This one that I'm applying right now is Passion. This one is so orange. I actually really like the shade, but it can be a little bit patchy. As you can see, the frosted glass is just a little bit fictitious compared to the actual shade that it is. This one is called Dash, and this is a rosy color. This is very good for mature um, makeup kind of looks. You know, it's that mature rose pink. I can see my mom wearing this, you know what I mean? The next one is called Elegance. This is a more, for me, wearable. A more wearable rose nude. Because it's got a little bit more brown in it. So that's what I like about Elegance. Yeah, it's super elegant. I, I really like this shade. This is called Hustle. This is a straight up brown. And it's not too dark. I think it will go really well with darker skin tones. And it's got a lot of warmth in it. So these are all the swatches for those six liquid lipsticks. Moving on, this is called Vivacity. This is a shade that I don't tend to wear, but I kind of like it with this makeup look, to be honest, just because, I don't know, it's kind of 80s, I think. 
So this is a neon pink. After that, I'm going to be applying Moxie. This is like Girl About Town by MAC, but in liquid lipstick form. It's a red pink tone colour. It's not really my kind of colour, but if you're into that, you know, get Moxie. This is Zest. This is an orange shade. It's a neon, bright ass orange. So I'm actually really into this liquid lipstick, just not with this look. Okay, so this one is really, really nice. This is called Sizzle. Again, it clashes with my makeup. I should have done something a little bit simpler on the eyes, but I was filming a tutorial. But this is a pumpkin spice orange. It's called Sizzle, and it's so, so nice. It's so unique. I don't think any other brand has this kind of tone with their liquid lipsticks. This one is a must-have, you guys. This is called Reckless. This is like Ruby Woo in liquid lipstick form. It's a matte, flat, red colour. It's that Hollywood red. Perfect for, you know, a Valentine's date dinner. You know, when you want to wear a Marilyn Monroe red lip, wear Reckless. Moving on, we have got Firecracker. This is a darker, more vampy version of Reckless. So if you want a darker tone in your reds, then definitely get this one. Okay, moving on, we have got Flare, which is an even darker version of Firecracker. So, you know, this is very autumnal. It's very winter, you know, for that deep, deep wine colours. This is so perfect. This is so, so good. I should have applied it a little bit better. As you can see, my lips are going through it. Um... Yeah, so now we're going on to the crazier colours. We are applying Kooky right now, which is a straight up Barney Purple. This is not my favourite shade at all. It's not the type of shades that I tend to wear, but if you're into purples, this is great. Just not for me. This is called Symphonic. This is a paler version of that, and it's got a lot of blue tones on it, and it goes so well with my eyeshadow look, actually. But yeah, this one is called Symphonic. Yeah, my lips are just tired, you can see. This is, yeah, we've gone through a lot of lipsticks right now, so... My lips were stinging at this point. This one is called Iced. It's a periwinkle blue. How unique is that? Who else has a periwinkle blue liquid lipstick? This is just, it's lovely. It's really, really nice. It needs a little bit of finessing, but once you get there, it's just, it's just so, so cool. How cool is this lip? Now we are on to Splash. This is the second to last swatch of the day. <laughs> it's a deep blue. It's got a lot of, you know, um, teal undertones in it, I would say. But yeah, it's like a darker blue. I think if you put iced on the center, this would look beautiful. As you can see, I had lipstick on my teeth. But you know, we're going to roll through it. This is the last swatch of the day. This is called Potency. This is a straight up matte black. So if you want to go for that gothic, sleek, you know, sort of editorial look, then go for Potency. And those are all the swatches, you guys. I've just swatched all 24 of these and um, it took me about 50 minutes to... <laughs> Swatch everything on my hand and on my. Eh, I got. That's the worst. I've got lipstick on my teeth. My lips are stinging. That's how they feel. Um, but to give you a roundup, the liquid lipsticks are a very, very thin formula. It smells really nice. I don't know the smell. It just smells really sweet. Um, I like it though. And the packaging is really nice, I like the gold. The plastic also looks like frosted glass. The only thing about the packaging is that it looks a little bit fictitious when you open it because obviously the colours are going to be um, darker or brighter or just different to what it looks like on the tube. So you have to bear that in mind. But here in the UK we've got testers anyway, so that's absolutely fine. I would say that some of the shades are more patchy. 
like the white and the lighter colors like these three colors are really really patchy the nudes perform really really well the lighter peachy shades like halcyon and i think this one's called passion yeah passion they're a little bit more patchy than the others and some take longer to dry than others but other than that they feel really nice on the lips they're not overly drying at all they wear really nicely on the lips i think and and for three pounds so many different shades you can choose nudes reds blacks blues purples pinks oranges there's such a huge range for a drugstore brand that's pretty good and they're three pounds get them online get them in store i would totally recommend it but overall i think they're pretty good I would give them a 7 out of 10 and I definitely approve of this message that I actually really like these <laughs> liquid lipsticks. If you like these liquid lipstick videos or just lip swatch videos in general then let me know down below. Give this video a like, comment, all of that. You know the drill. You know, you know these are very formula things to say when it comes to YouTube but I just hope that you do it regardless. And I love you guys so so much and I hope to see you on the next video. Subscribe guys. Bye.